not a spring chick. And can, I know, you're sitting there looking at my face going, what was it? What? Before you start your victory dance, make sure you won the race. Okay, sometimes people, yes, we'll start celebrating prematurely. But wait a minute. Listen. Oh, yes. Did you fall for an April Fool's Day yet? Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. That's all. And Monty Bubbles announces she's going to Can. Yeah, well, actually, she's going to live vivaciously through us at Cannes because <laughs> they won't let her into the country because she, <laughs> they think of her as a dog, where we know she's a... She, uh, but she's she, the chair dog. She, she would have to be quarantined. I know, and that would make her happy. Mm -hmm. Sitting on a boat, you know, a two or three hundred foot yacht off the harbor, people say, oh, and, oh the problem is she would really like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah she would love that, so and the center of attention. <laughs> she loves to be the center of attention. Yeah, I, I have... This is Monty's pillow called Sweet Dreams. It's something that we don't get a lot of at the moment, which is Sweet Dreams. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they did. They basically said yesterday that since the since the uh, the Republicans have now been proved totally wrong in their Obamacare thing. It's now being back to Obamacare, uh, you know. And then, uh, like they said before, they they pointed out a member of the Democratic Party pointed out an old Mark Twainism who said, uh, before you start your victory lap, make certain that you've won the race. The president totally refuses to give any information about his figures or anything. Not a single figure has been uh, verified on the Affordable Care Act. Not a one. And when they refuse to bring, they refuse to obey court orders to turn over the information. But we have a law in the country called the Sunshine Law. Mm. When you go to court, they have to turn the information. Obama is refusing to do it in violation of the law. And they said, well, that what, what happened is, they said that uh, we're now becoming a country outside the law. If you don't like the law, don't obey the law. Instead of, as Supreme Court Justice Oliver Wendell Holmes said, if you don't like the law, don't break the law, change the law. That's not how it's done anymore. They just break the law. And Democrats claim victory over the Republicans on Obamacare. I know, and they, uh, they're claiming victory. Uh, they simply asked this morning one of the senior Democratic senators on television, uh, you know, I'm a news person. I have, to have for, I have to have information. I can't say that you got 7.1 million uh, people signed up unless you actually can prove it. And he said, well, you have to take our word for it. He said, that's not how legitimate news works. And this is one of their supporters in the press. And they're refusing to give information to anybody, which means everything that they're saying, they've cooked the books, folks. And they did exactly what they said that, well, if we were going to cook the books, don't you think that we would cook the books in our favor? And the next day they did exactly what they said. Mm -hmm. And Europe finds it difficult to wing itself off Russian gas. Yeah, and Obama could fix the problem. Obama yesterday decided to teach our oil and natural gas industry a very less big lesson. Uh, They've decided to add the prairie chicken, which basically most of where you find drilling in our country in the what, beyond the Mississippi has a, the endangered prairie chicken now. They said the prairie chicken is everywhere. It's not endangered, but by what happens is you shut down any drilling whatsoever until the courts decide the prairie chicken is not an endangered species under any circumstance. The prairie chicken? The prairie chicken, yeah. Because they... It, they needed something that they could do to stop all new drilling in our country, and that's basically the Obama administration's way of doing it. He, he hates the, uh, the, the, the industry, and he will shut it down if he can. And federal judge will not block Arizona rules on use of abortion drugs. Yeah, well, that's because the, um, basically a state has a right to choose what drugs can and cannot be used within its borders. This is a drug that is used to uh, basically kill, and therefore they control, you know, like I said, uh, you cannot bring something like, say, uh, they consider smoking uh, denatured alcohol bad, they can ban denatured alcohol as a public hazard. So, mm -hmm. and also, if you don't know what you're doing, you can go down the house down. And Obama didn't forget any told you so's in his Obamacare victory lap. I know. They, what? Uh, well, no, he basically... Uh, went on that they were wrong, these people were wrong, we were right, they were wrong, they were wrong. And then they asked the million dollar question, can you provide us with figures to verify what you said in the press conference? 
Mm. I love that. In the press conference. And climate change, more violence, less food, and embarrassment for political leaders. Oh yeah, the uh, the the world is the the poor and the middle class are going to be hurt because of climate change. And unless the United States and France and all these countries contribute tens of trillions of dollars, that the world is going to go. We're going to go into major world wars. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. And so, and Obama. Well, Obama wants to pony up pony up 1.2 trillion dollars as an opening set thing in the. the to help climate change. You know that the people that are doing the most polluting are going to contribute a penny. Mm. And Syrian troops saber victory in the fallen rebel bastion. Yeah, the, well, the Syrians are winning the battle because of Obama. Mm. He basically refused to do anything. And no frills canonization for Popes John Paul II and John the Twenty Third. Well, because one of them is living. But what happened was is that you have um, uh, you have a um, uh, I think a monk that's in charge of the Catholic Church and his whole life has been built on screwing the establishment and he's doing it with the, the church, the Catholic Church and is all about ceremony and he is a monk that's not about ceremony. Mm. And Obama's taxing proposal on giving. Yeah, he wants to basically destroy all charitable gifts in our country now because remember Obama doesn't believe in in uh, in the Christian Church, so and they, you know, they say, well, he's a no, he's not. He's a okay. He's a Muslim. Everybody knows he's a Muslim, and nobody would care if he just say he was a Muslim. Mm -hmm. And polluted Paris forces thousands of cars off the road. Well, because Paris is another one of those countries, they want to teach them a lesson. Like, the, the, you know, it's not a, if, you know if you hit them for a trillion dollars, hit Great Britain for a couple of trillion. And then you give this money to Muslim countries that have nothing. Hmm. Well, because remember, the Muslims control the United Nations. And bishops seek immigration reform during border trip. We're not going to, okay, here's the trick is, nobody would care if it was immigration reform. The problem is, it's, it's legally putting 30 million people that are here illegally, making them legal, and not doing a single thing to reform the system. There is no reform built in. Reform. It's just a means of creating more voters for the Democratic Party. Who the Democratic Party cannot get through their thick skulls. The instant those people become uh, middle class, they don't vote Democrat anymore because they are they are traditionally conservative in all areas, and the Democrats are liberal. And Kerry pressuring the wrong side, Israel minister. Yeah. They, oh, they got this real good one today. You let go 400 people that that are killers. And we'll let you have one Israeli spy back, and then we'll then you can talk about you know all the things you have to surrender to the Palestinians. Now, oh, but this morning they shot, they basically took Kerry. He made the, he, all this grand bargain stuff, and and then the Palestinians this morning went behind his back and decided to become a state mm -hmm. anyway with, through the United Nations. So. And Bizarro Common Core Kindergarten Math Homework Stunts Dad with Ph.D. Yeah, the, the <laughs> Common Core is the biggest farce that you can think of. People, okay, here's a good one. Six times eight is is 48, right? Yep. You know that six times eight plus five plus one equals 48? What? That's the, they say that the Obama administration and most Democrats handling the, the finances basically believe in Common Core. That's not, I, that makes that no would, sense. No, but that's it. That's six times eight plus five times plus five plus one equals forty-eight. And that's where they get one plus one equals five. Yeah. 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 It's about the same common sense. Yeah. Supreme Court justices to ponder New Mexico photographer case. Well, yeah, the photographer has a bit. Okay, he basically is claiming that he he is a he's a. Uh, believes that gay gay is gay uh, individuals are a uh, sin, and therefore he would not take pictures at their wedding. So they've gone to the court system to order him, you know, to teach him a lesson because they wanted his. Re Remember, we no longer have freedom of speech nor religious rights in our nation. That was given up under this administration. Oh boy, animonte bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Okay, it, it's a very simple thing. If you won't tell somebody, uh, give them answers to their questions, why should you expect them to believe anything you say?